believe that anyone can be a powerful presenter. It's about having the right tools, strategies, confidence, and a clear purpose for your audience. Hi, I'm Paula Smith, professional speaker, author, workshop leader, and business coach, helping you to grow your business and your brand. I've had the pleasure of sharing my message with thousands of audience members, either live on stage, in my workshops, or just like this in a video for nearly 30 years. If you have a message, some experience, a gift for the audience, I would love to help you feel comfortable to get in front of that camera or a live audience and share it with the people who need to hear it. In my second book, Powerful Presentation Principles, I share 52 standalone principles to help you to become a confident, charismatic, and congruent presenter who can influence, connect, and engage with any audience. Today, I'm going to share three of those principles with you so you can get started right away. Or if you're a more seasoned presenter, a couple of tips, or perhaps even a reminder to ensure you're always developing your presenting skills. Have a conversation. Remember at school when we were asked to prepare a speech? Bad memories of palm cards and losing my place come flooding back. I love listening to a well-prepared speech. In fact, I marvel at the word-perfect, clever way it's been constructed. However, on a commercial level, a perfectly crafted speech should be the last thing to be delivered to a conference full of employees waiting to be inspired, influenced or informed. When working with my coaching clients who are often very stiff, unnatural or struggling to remember their lines, I suggest they stop delivering a speech and start having a real conversation with the audience. The immediate transformation is quite incredible. Not any conversation though, it has to be a meaningful one, a relevant conversation with the audience. One that comes from the heart, one that aligns with your key messages, and yes, one that's not rehearsed word for word. When we're having a conversation, we're inviting our audience to be involved, to respond, and to be immersed in the experience as well. It's a little more difficult on a video, but still very possible to make the audience feel like you're in their office or they're lounging with them. Now, this doesn't mean you don't have to prepare and rehearse, far from it. I use a structure. I always rehearse my openings and closing. I even rehearse some of my signature stories. This makes sure I communicate my key messages to my audience every time. It's more about being open and flexible. So phrases like, let me explain that in another way when the audience is looking at you blankly. This is so much more effective than trying to remember a word perfect script. So how do you have an easy conversation? Well, listen to the next principle. Be your authentic self. Remember, all business is about relationships. So building a trusting relationship when you present is critical. And the best way you can do that is by being authentically you. I always try and use my authentic style of communicating when presenting or delivering a workshop. That way I'm much more relaxed and comfortable. In fact, it just feels really easy when I'm being myself. When you're comfortable, your audience is comfortable. They're more trusting and your ability to influence and get your message across increases dramatically. Now, if you're anything like me, I get my energy from a live audience. So presenting to a camera isn't as natural for me. I always try and make eye contact with the production team or the camera crew instead of presenting right to the lens. So I'll let you in on a little secret. I turn the camera into Bob, a real person. I even chat to Bob when I'm getting ready to roll. It just feels easy when that record button is being pressed. And because I have a relationship with Bob, it feels more comfortably to personally engage with him or Bobette on occasion when I'm ready to roll. I know, a little crazy. You may have your own quirky little way of feeling comfortable in front of the camera, but whatever it is, allow the audience to get to know the real you, even if you are just a little bit crazy. Be a thought leader and bring fresh insights. How is the presentation, one asks. Oh, nothing I haven't heard before. Does that sound familiar? 
I go to a lot of presentations, as I'm sure many of you do too. Which ones stand out? Which ones have you thinking in a way you've never thought before? Which ones aroused your emotions or got you to take action for the very first time? Anyone with a bit of training can deliver a presentation that sounds professional and gets the job done. The world-class presenters bring fresh thinking and insights to the audience. They bring something very unique to the platform, a different take on a topic, breakthrough research, or their own models and frameworks. They're thought leaders, and they're excited about sharing their ideas, concepts, and results. And when they're in flow, they're captivating. Research also suggests that when we hear or experience something for the very first time, our emotional state is stimulated, and we're much more likely to remember it. You can discuss other trains of thought or research to date, but this is your turn to shine. So share your own thoughts and experiences. Bring fresh insights and deliver a brand new presentation that will be talked about. Now, there's many more ways to help our audiences to remember our messages, engage with our topic, or to connect with you personally. I hope you'll continue to learn and give them a go. So start by saying yes to sharing your message and expertise. Your audience is waiting to hear from you. Look forward to having that meaningful conversation. Look forward to just relaxing and being you. And look forward to sharing your fresh, unique insight everything else you can learn along the way. Anyone can be a presenter. Learning the art and science of presenting will ensure you are a powerful presenter. Happy presenting.